Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Ignore the barter in the chat because he's just a little collection log nerd. But other than that, this is a new video which I guess some of you might have been expecting but some of you don't really care at all. But basically this is my bank video. I did one in the ending of the last year and since we are now already in 2024 I figured why not do another one. It's not like it takes a lot to do this stuff. Anyways, last year my bank video was 1.3 billion and this year without any further ado because it's already in the title and on the thumbnail most likely, my bank is almost 6.2 billion. I have no idea how but I managed to get almost 5 billion GP value on in my bank. I obviously did get Tebow this year at the beginning of this year which we will see momentarily but other than that I have no idea where almost additional 4 billion of my bank account wealth came from and not even to mention that I did open a bunch of clues in the ending of the last year and all of those items are in my POH so those don't this price doesn't even include that but anyways I'll just go tab by tab so we can see how my bank looks for those interested you guys can stop at any moment and look around so basically as we start my tab first tab hasn't changed it's all my runes and my cash stack i did out most of my stuff when i did forestry part 2 so i have a solid 370 million cash stack but it will pop or probably i don't know go down once i go start buying runes for uh tob weapons or shadow if I do eventually get those but at the moment I don't have any of those I did get the eternal glory at the end of last year this was my 900 item as well and I actually finished 2023 with 900 items but that's in the second part of this video because we are uh, looking over our collection log as well bunch of runes as I said before I am also making these game necklaces right here if you noticed because as you guys know probably already they are nerfing void waker this year so i want to take advantage and try and get some corporeal beasts done in the meantime anyways i'm moving uh, forward my fish spirit anglers outfit because in the background i'm slowly building up permits for the temporos pet because that's the last thing i'm missing from that log i actually yesterday opened like 500 48 thing permits and I got back to back tombs so that's something but yeah there is the first tab second tab is the gear tab it's the juicy one apparently not it's only 3.3 bill what the hell it's so weird anyways but yeah 3.3 bill so light bearer obviously I don't have many TOAs done but I did manage to snag two freaking purples with my friends Gabby's help which was of course the light bearer and the fang which we will see momentarily but yeah my magic gear right here still need the ancestral top I hopefully can get it this year my range gear right here my armadil still need the chest plate which I am actually working on right now and after that I will most likely start sending Toas for the of Masori, of course. My melee setup right here, obviously full bandos. I did manage to get the face, the jaw this year, which I allowed me to make the face guard as well as altar. I finished that basically at some one of my la close to last episode. What, what the one thousand slot episode? I managed to get the altering. That's the only thing that I all from Desert Treasure Two bosses that I have because I haven't done the other bosses yet so I'm happy with that obviously the void my blood fury the crystal armor with my bofa uh, I appreciate these things a lot because if those that are here from the beginning know how I struggled with corrupted gauntlet anyways my devout boots the basically the prayer here gear are right here ring of the gods i got this year the spec weapons dragon warhammer yeah as i mentioned the fang kodai i yeah, i've got it this year as well i basically all my raids items i got this year because yeah tebow was my second purple and i got it at the beginning of the year so all of the things that i got are from chambers are to this year anyways as i mentioned my tebow 
some cannonballs, my blade, three Sarah armadillo crossbows because as you guys probably know I am twice for Sarah hilt. I am 1.7 kkc at the boss and I don't have it. The void waker I got pretty spooned on this one so unfortunately it's getting nerfed but at least I will I had some fun with it. The lance which is somewhat irrelevant with every passing day. Yeah, the basic stuff. I finished my BGS this year. Uh, what else? Yeah, I greenlocked Revenants, so all my free Revenants weapons are right here. I'm really, really happy with that. Venator Bow, I recently just finished. I got extremely spooed on Muspa, so you'll see that in the second part of this video if you stick around. What else? Let's just continue scrolling. Yeah, this is basically just the junk thing, but it's still in the tab. So yeah, just my food. And yeah, nothing really much important. 7k Dragon Dance, that's not really that much. Anyways, the potions tab, some crystal dust, which I need with which I need to make more potions. I don't have too many potions because I don't really enjoy skilling anymore, but yeah, I got a solid amount of combat potions. Brews, I need to decant these. I finished my birdhouse run site, so I have a loads of raw brew supplies, but like I need to make them. Prayer potions, I need to decan those, super restores, yeah, nothing really exciting happening here. Anyways, this one is a pretty juicy, 500 million of supplies, as you guys can see all the uncuts, obviously, Jesus Christ, 12k rubies, yeah, 10k diamonds, yeah, so these are, some of, some of these are from the Corrupted Gauntlet, which I still did after I got the blade, obviously. I haven't cut any of the uncut since last year and the second half is I guess yeah most of the drop well Desert War Dorf is drops these a lot and obviously you get those from chambers too. My ore stack is getting juicier with every freaking passing month. I love the white stacks honestly. Steel bars got loads of these oh yeah and most of these ores but are most of these ores are from Zolcano because I I'm still hunting that goddamn tool seed, the bars, obviously, the, I'm still collecting logs from miscellaneous even though I recently finished evil chicken outfit, so the white stacks do look nice. 30k dues, 20k magics, unfortunately no redwoods, but I don't really need them anymore because I don't do birdhouse runs. Almost 50k grapes, those mostly are from Warcath, I believe, I don't know if anything else gives it, and yeah, for... 144k raw karam ones left, I got Heron Pet this year, so I don't really do these anymore, and a bunch of food left over. Anyways, this is just my skilling tab, I guess, gear, skilling gear tab, most of my outfits are in my POH, because I, well, I don't really need them, I just, if I decide to do something, I just take them out and do the activity. Solid amounts of marks of grace because I just sometimes feel like in the mood and just do some RD course because that's how I am planning to get my agility pet. Other than that, nothing else here really. This is the trophy tab, I guess I should say, just the gear that doesn't fit in the main gear tab, but like it's still like I don't wanna throw them out. I obviously have green lock barrels, so these are all the sets. I have Arims and uh, what is the last one? Carols, so I will make these into sets as well once I get the better upgrades for those. And uh, yeah, this is my Zelra corner, I guess. I'm really unlucky at that boss. I have one of each just in case I manage to lose one somehow. One mutagen, still need the magma one. Leftover Laron's keys after I finished Dagon High, I got these from finishing the Wildy weapons from Revenants. A bunch of crystal shards, my trophy crystal seeds from Gauntlet uh, grind, the leftover Revenant Seether, the bracelets, I will still need these once I start camping the Wildy bosses. The ancient, ancient Essence, I left myself exactly 150 because that's how many I need to saturate an imbued heart well, if I actually manage to get one. The Venetu Shard placeholder because I will need to go back to that boss to upkeep my Venator bow, boss, bow because I, as I mentioned, I freaking spooned that boss like hell. Temporos, nothing really interesting here. All the rings, not too many of them, but I think I always, I have all of them now. Well, aside from the Desert Treasure 2 bosses, of course. 
I finished all the wieldy shields as well this year, made them into shields just so I can look at them in the bank. The leftover Zenites, a green log class experiments I think this year, still need two tentacles so I can make the upgraded trident. Leftover whips, bandos, well not bandos, sorry, god sword shards, I just keep them like that, no need to make the the blades for Aura because it's like if I get a new hilt I just can withdraw off one and take and make it. Leftover dragon items, as you guys can see, a bunch of dragon boots from Wildy Slayer. I'm glad I did it so I can use these well, cam well when I will be camping Calvarian and uh, Spindle. Obviously, loads of dragon teachers, dragon pickaxes and whatnot. All the staves from superiors and from DKs. Continuing on with the staves, yeah, the heads, nothing really much interesting here. Got two more crystals after I built my obelisk in my POH. Two dupe avarice, like in total I've got three, but I managed to lose one. All the statuettes from revs that I've got, I didn't exchange them for cash. I only managed to get one freaking 16 min relic, which is very, very disappointing. And yeah, the rest of it's just, just junk, where I just, I need to find the space for it, I guess. I don't know, honestly, but uh, yeah, I don't think there is anything interesting here, right? The leftover crystals from Cerberus. Oh, I actually have an additional pair of Peggy of Ranger Boots. Once I open the clues, I can actually make my second pair. I need to do that. Nice. Leftover Hilt uh, from Callisto because I managed to get three, but I dumped one into Death's Coffer for the, you know, Death Reclaim Cash. And I'm happy I did that because when I did, it was 90 million and then it's down 25 mil value. So I really won with that one. Executioners had a green locked Vardorvis aside from Virtus, but I'll get that from the other bosses, obviously. One more Chromium Ingot for the new ring, and yeah, there's nothing really else here. The Circane I recently just got. Farming tab. All the nests that I mentioned from Birdhouse runs, so these are gonna be insane. Bruise once I manage to farm enough toad flags, but I need to start doing toba to get more seeds so I can farm them. Honestly, yeah, just some herbs. I don't really have too many because yeah, the seeds are right here. It's from starting with the lowest going to the highest. But like once I start doing toa, it's gonna grow exponentially. Honestly, the secondary supplies not too many of them. Me though, I don't really do much herb lore. I only do bruise. Rare potions and super restores, really. Other than that, I don't really much care for XP, so yeah. This is the drops tab, I guess, Alex tab, or whatever you want to call it. How is this 400 mil? This is so weird, anyways. I alt most of the stuff, but it's building back up pretty quickly, as you guys can see. Crystal keys. I have almost 500 crystal elven crystal chest case and zero dragonstone pieces, which is disappointing. But yeah, I'm gonna slowly scroll down. You can stop if you want. Bunch of freaking dragon hides. Bunch of staves. Well, not really too many, but yeah, gee, these are from Ness, from Miscellanea. Just some heads. Not really any of them here. Bo leftover bones after 99. I haven't used any. My extra ammunition, let's call it. And just a bunch of junk which I don't really use. 1.2 million almost pure essence. All the goodies from Wildy Slayer, 28 leftover tower parchments. I dunked a lot of these to Death's Coffer as well when they were 1 mil each, but they're climbing back up even though they dropped two at a time now, which is, I don't know. But yeah, and I think this is pretty much see it. The seeds. This is the just left junk clue tab, let's call it. I don't want to drop any of those pages just in case they make them useful in the future. So I just, you know, stack it and bang. It's not like I don't have space. Firelighters and just the kits because I just, you just keep getting them. So I don't, and I don't have like, you know, items for all of them. Like I don't have, like, I'm not going to go get extra infinity pieces just because I have extra kits. So I'll just rather keep the kits because I don't want to drop them. I have Ferdage, Praetal Eggs and Gilded Pieces after the clue opening, but those are in the POH as I mentioned, and just a bunch of fallow steps, things right here, as well as the stashes which I can't build because I only have one BGS. Anyways, and this is the chunk. 
So there we go, it's just like a bunch of quests or like tokens or whatever you wanna call them, which no one really cares about. Three harpoon fishes, some Shazian supplies for Callisto when I do elite clues. Oh, I recently just got stale baguette too, which is just insane after so many years of playing. So uh, yeah, that is my bank, 6.2 billion almost, so... I, go, I hope you guys enjoyed that and for the second part let's look at the collection log now.